Hey, what's up? Brandon Northwick here with another episode of Business for Breakfast. We are on episode number 21 today, and today's gonna be all about hours versus impact. So I'm gonna go into a detailed strategy to help you guys compress time to make more of an impact on your marketplace. So make sure to stay until the end. You don't wanna miss this. Okay, so the reason behind this episode is gonna be coming from a lot of the conversation that happened on my last mastermind just last weekend that we were hosted. And a majority of the you know new business owners, they come to me and they feel like, okay, well, if I put in 15 hours, I mean, how many hours do I have to put in? I got 12 hours, I got 15 hours, I'm gonna just go ahead and do this every single day. I'm gonna put in the 15, 18 hour days. Well, just because you can put in those hours, that does not necessarily guarantee your success. It's how you're utilizing those hours. So what we wanna make sure is that the impact inside of that is really gonna be able to help your market achieve a specific result. It's gonna help position you as an authority so that by the end of the day, when you get done with your 10 or 15 hour day, you actually have some form, some sort of form of result, right? A lot of the folks right now, they're so afraid of paid advertising. They're so afraid of paid advertising. They're so afraid of these um, these things that are gonna help you know, free up a lot of your time so that when you do get in front of the computer or when you do get on the phone with your customers and clients, that it's actually well spent. It's bringing more of a return for your time. And I mean, I'm gonna be honest, that's really why we're in business. We, lo- we need to get paid, right? If we're not focused, if we're not determined, if we're not, you know, organizing our thoughts and our day in a way that's going to help us propel our business, then it's really a wasted time. And when you can go through your day, and if you go through your day and you've experienced this, you know exactly what I'm talking about, where it's, you know, at the end of the day, you feel so drained and you're just like, man, I did so much work today. I feel like I did so much work today, but you go to look at the results and you didn't get any leads. Uh, You didn't make any sales. You didn't get on a phone call. Uh, You never did a live training. Uh, what you did all day was you scoured through, you know, Facebook. You went onto your Twitter news feed. You, you know, hopped onto YouTube and got lost in those videos. You didn't do really anything for your business. You were caught up in the distractions around you. Now, a couple of reasons why people do this. Number one is, and the most, in my eyes, is the most, you know, the biggest reason why people, you know, do that is because it's comfortable. They don't want to do the stuff that's uncomfortable. They want to get up in the morning and they want to tell themselves, oh, I'm going to do whatever it takes. Oh, I will do whatever it takes, but after I do this. And then by the time they get done with Facebook, it's okay, well, I need to do my live training or I need to create this uh, funnel or I have to do this uh, promotional material. I have to do something that's going to actually generate a sale or bring in more business, but I would much rather put a post on Facebook. I would much rather go and connect with people on Messenger. I would much rather do these things that I'm comfortable with versus stretching myself and learning new skills. And when you do learn those new skills, that's how you're gonna make a bigger impact. So at the end of the day, it's not about how much hours you put in, it's about the impact that you make. So a quick story about when we first started is, you know, me and and Sarah, we had begun our online ventures a little over three years ago. didn't have any clue as to what needed to be done, how to do it or anything like that. And we took everything so literal. So every time that we would go into the, uh, into our computer, every time we would basically come into work, right? It would, we would feel as if, okay, well I just gotta send out some links and I'm just gonna sit back and wait. And if it didn't happen today, it's because I'm just building my brand. It's because I'm brand new. It's because of this, it's because of this. And then you start to really see how people inside, the top earners inside of any industry are building their business and it's not just posting links and sitting back and waiting. But the crazy part about that is if you're in the internet marketing industry, that's what a lot of people teach. They actually teach you to just post links and just sit back and wait. And while they're recruiting you and they're taking your monthly you know, uh, subscription and they're getting a percentage of that, right? So they're making commissions off you and they're telling you, hey, look, you know what? You don't have to do really anything. It's super simple. All you gotta do is just you know take this one link, right? And go ahead and just market it. And people go, well, how do I market it? And they go, well, go ahead and put it on all these social media. Syndicate it, right? You wanna put it on Gmail, you want Google Plus, Twitter, Pair, uh, you know, Pinterest, you wanna have it all these places, and then you just sit back and you just wait. And the more links that you have out there, I mean, people are bound to click through. And that's exactly what we thought. We were sold that bullshit, okay? And pardon my French, but it is completely that. It is a bunch of BS. If you're looking to really build and grow your business and scale up to something that's gonna allow you the freedom that probably got you into the industry into the first place, then you're gonna have to do a little bit more than just posting links. You're gonna have to make that impact. So how do you make an impact? And by the way, we struggled with that for, uh, we struggled with that for a couple years. 
being able to, you know, uh, ha having to dissect exactly what people were saying. And then better than that, we had to actually look at what they were doing. And if you look at what the high, uh, you know, the high earners and the top earners of any industry are doing, they're not just sitting back. They're never just sitting back. They're taking action. Okay. They are taking action and it's, you know, picking up the phone. It's, uh, making the scheduled meetings. It's doing all these things that are going to allow them to actually generate a sale and, and build a client and get a business and build their brand. And they're doing it actively. Okay. So we want to have both things working for us. You want to have an active kind of model and you want to have a passive model. Yes, you do want to have automation. You do want to have some things that can allow you to free up your time. And that's what we're going to get into. But you also want to be able to know that you got to actively be out there doing things every single day. That's going to make your impact. Uh, all the other stuff is just kind of a way for people to see that you've shown up for the day, but actually going in there and, and scheduling those phone calls, making those phone calls, uh, sending out the emails, re replying to the emails, uh, doing all kinds of things that are going to actually be active. They're going to require work on your part. That's where it's at. So many people read that, you know, Tim Ferriss, the four hour work week, or they look at somebody else who's doing like two to three hours a day and they think, well, if I'm spending more time than that, then I'm not doing it right. And that's just not that that's an incorrect way of thinking because when you adopt that belief, every day you wake up and you spend more than three hours, you're going to feel bad about what you've done. And you're going to end up trying to skip and cut corners and trying to look for that quote unquote secret sauce. That's going to help you get to that next level. Well, there is no secret sauce. Okay. It's just hustle. It's hustle. You've got to be able to dedicate everything that you've got. And when I mean everything, I mean everything. No matter what anybody out there is telling you right now, if I'm the first person to share this with you, then take this, take this to home, okay? Take this all the way with you because you do not want to be caught, you know, believing that, oh, well, I can do this in two hours a day. I've never made a sale before online. I'm new to business. I've never ran anything. You know, I've never been a business owner. I've never really even had an entrepreneurial spirit. I just kind of jumped into this because I wanted some extra income. And if it takes me more than three hours a day to build an income over 10K per month, then I'm not interested in doing it. That's what a lot of people feel. They feel like, oh, I've got to get into this industry and then within 90 days or within 120 days or within a year, if I'm not making this much money, then you know what? It's not even, why is it even worth it? But what people fail to remember is that you go to work for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, right? To be able to keep the money that you can so that when you retire, you are retiring safely. You don't have to worry about anything, right? You got your money situation taken care of. Well, why is it that people will put in eight to 10 hours a day for somebody else for 40 years, but not take, you know, two years or three years to learn, you know, specific skills that can help you generate 10 times the amount of money that you could ever make as an employee. It's funny, right? So the things we want to focus on today are time compression. How do we make a bigger impact on our marketplace, right? It's not about the hours we put in. It's about the impact that we make. So number one, okay, these are actionable steps for you to just walk away with. We want you to be able to take this information and go and get bigger results. So number one, sounds simple, but no distractions, okay? No distractions. I'm talking about taking your phone out of your pocket, flipping it upside down, making sure you're not listening to the notifications. I'm talking about, you know, um, if you've got kids and you're working from home, being able to get them out of the office. If you're a single parent, then by all means, you know, this is the toughest part for you, okay? And I get that. There's a way to make it done though, right? You have to be able to either work before they get up or work after they go to bed, work during their nap times, or you've got to give them activities. You know, reading books, coloring, things like that, that can buy you, you know, 20, 30, maybe, you know, maybe 60 minutes um, in block periods so you can actually focus on what you're doing. Now, if you don't have a nanny and you don't have that time and you're working three jobs and you're trying to, you know, raise your family, then it's difficult. It's maybe time for you to, you know, figure out which one of those jobs you can really get rid of and start to really focus on this. Maybe it's going out there and finding an investor, which is one of those uncomfortable things to help build and fund your vision so that you can quit one of those jobs or two of those jobs or all three of those jobs and really start to focus on your, on building your business, right? So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that we are distraction free. And I'm talking about distraction free for the entire time that you are building your business. The other thing is we want to make sure that you're giving a specific time to each activity. So if your uh, one of your activities is say to create a new landing page or to create a follow up or to uh, build a promotional video or to do maybe even it's just a you know uh, schedule out your Facebook posts or something like that where you're you know you're you're branding yourself, then do not spend more than a certain amount of time. Okay, and I'm going to go into the breakdown of each day in just a second, and I'm big on this. This is something I advocate to every single one of our clients, which is that if you do not have the discipline to be able to, uh, you know, schedule out your day, then you're never going to make it. 
you're not going to make it. You're going to be walking around at the end of the day wondering why is it in the month, you know, 17 and I still haven't seen any sales. It's because you're not doing the things that are necessary. You're still staying in that comfortable state and not taking the steps that are going to help you reach that next level. Well, how do you know which steps to take? Well, if you don't have it planned out, right, you have to have that clear vision in the end of your mind. If you know for a fact that you want to make 10K per month, then we reverse engineer that all the way until the very next day. So we would say, okay, in 12 months from now, I want to be making 10K per month. Well, what's the, what's the thing right before you make 10K that has to happen for you to reach 10K? And then what's the thing right before that that has to happen for you to reach that goal? And then what's the thing right before that? And we reverse engineer that all the way down into what you have to do today to help get you in the right path and on the right path to where you want to go. Without you having that specific time set for those activities, you're going to be running around with your head cut off talking about why do I feel so overwhelmed and why can't I just seem to get ahead? It's because your organization is not there. Now, a lot of the times with this stuff, we want to outsource, okay? But you can't outsource until you've actually done it yourself. So everything that you do inside of your business is not going to be something that you do long term. One of the best things about being a business owner is identifying your strengths, understanding where you belong as far as inside of your business, right? And then everything else around you that does not fit into those one, two, or three things, build a team around you that can help do that because those team members that you're you're building with you to help to help, uh, you know launch your vision and help launch your business those people actually love doing the stuff that you hate right imagine that imagine having people who actually love like for me I do not like the video editing process right I do not enjoy that but Having a right team and finding the right team is difficult. Having people that you can really trust and rely on that can deliver great work over and over again, that, that's hard to find. I'm not going to make it easy on you, right? It's, it's hard to find. So while we're pursuing our team and while we are building this, guess who has to do that work? You know, me or Sarah or anyone else that, that's on our team. And we want to make sure that that stuff still gets done. If you have anything inside your business that's going to help you, you know, develop a brand, build more leads or make more sales, you've got to do it. You got to do it right now. And if that means, you know, taking an extra hour out of your night and not watching that TV show, then that's what you got to do. That's exactly what you got to do. So first we have no distractions. Second, we have to make sure that you have a specific time amount for that activity. Set the timers and make sure that if you're going to be in their social media, to only spend an hour on all social media sites, breaking it down in 15 minute or 20 minute blocks. If it's messaging people, spend 30 minutes messaging people and then after that, call it quits. Move on to the next activity. Hopefully it's an income producing activity, right? So it doesn't matter if you're making videos. Don't spend all day making videos because you still have other parts of your business that need to be attended to. So like I'm saying is make sure that you have each day scheduled out and planned out so that you can go through each activity in a certain amount of time so that you know by the end of the day you're taking the steps in the right direction, okay? Now the three parts to your day, okay? This is what I would recommend. This is what I suggest to help you, you know, maximize production and maximize your impact is gonna be the breakdown in three days, okay? You have your, uh, your closing, you have your marketing, and you have your customer fulfillment. And those can be rearranged in any way that you need, okay? It doesn't have to be closing, marketing, customer fulfillment. You could do it backwards, you could mix it around, whatever. You know yourself better than anybody else, so when you wake up in the morning, what is it that you're excited to do? A lot of people will focus on the stuff that they hate first. And that will set the tone for the entire day. We don't want to do that. You want to be able to focus on the stuff that not only are you good at, but you enjoy. If you did that first, okay, and that was and that actually led to be an income producing activity, then by the time you get to the stuff that you're not really enjoying, you're going to see results from your work earlier in that day. And the moment that you can see results from your work, it excites you. It's going to get you pumped. And that other tedious stuff that, you know, is monotonous and you're just like, ah, oh, gosh, I just, I dread doing this one or two things every single day. When you're seeing results and you're making sales and you're generating leads earlier in the day, you're going through your meetings and you're setting things up to where it feels like you have successfully won the day. Those other things, they just come easier. They come so much easier because there's no pressure to get them done. You're not thinking, well, it's wasted effort. You know for a fact that that stuff needs to be done, but the stuff that you did in the morning, all those activities in the morning actually led to an income, okay? And if you're not building your daily income, your monthly income will be non-existent. And the fourth thing, okay, the fourth thing is going to be able to be disciplined. There's a lot of people out there that want to pretend that they can do things for the very first time, that they could be the very first millionaire or the very first person to build a business without being disciplined. And if you don't know what discipline is, look that thing up in the dictionary because it will share with you that it is not running around frantically wondering what to do next. It's not 
having a schedule built out for you or you know understanding how you need to take the next step and then just not doing it because you're tired or because you know you're you're not um, you know maybe it's gonna take too long or something of that nature if you're not doing what is required and you know for a fact that the stuff required is gonna help you reach your goal there's no discipline there there's no discipline knowing what needs to be done and then doing it is discipline okay also that's being committed so you need to be disciplined inside your endeavors or else you will not make it in business I promise the fifth thing is we want to be able to ask for feedback so these people that you're impacting every day when you put out a message it's going to be seen by somebody it's going to impact the lives of those that are actually there I mean if you're doing your job right so if you do have that impact being created if you're if you're building that momentum and you're doing everything that you can ask for the feedback from the people that are engaging with you you know your email list your ad campaigns uh, the people who are just liking and friending you on Facebook ask them for feedback you know create a private group that's going to allow you to really you know share more in a personal way with the people who are interested in what you have to offer whether it be customers clients or just people who you're looking to you know make an impact on and when you do that and you get that feedback there's no more thinking in the morning when you get up in the day you know there's no more thinking about what do I need to do you're letting your market and the people who are actually interested in what you have to offer you're letting them share with you okay look this is what I want to learn this is what I need the most help with this is where I feel you could be most valuable and when you have that kind of information it makes it so much easier because there's no more guessing, there's no thinking, well, ah, man, is this really gonna be well received? Am I gonna be able to generate leads? Am I gonna make sales? None of that is, is there anymore because this is your market research. It's the easiest way to do market research because you're literally just asking your market, hey, what would you like to learn? Hey, what do you think would be the best product to help you achieve this result? Hey, what do you think, uh, you know, I'd be able to, you know, where do you think I'd be able to add the most value into your business or your life? Depending on what you're doing and, you know, of course, what you're selling. But if you ask those people those questions, imagine, Imagine how simple it could be when you wake up in the morning to just get your work done. What content do you need to create? Well, hey, let me look over here and see what my market is asking me for. And then I can go and create a blog post, a video, a video series, a tutorial, a webinar, a live training. Um, I could literally make a, a, a post, right? Anything that is gonna help them achieve a specific result or uh, you know, add value to their life and business is exactly what you want to focus on every day. The more value you can, you know, create based off of the solutions that you're looking to provide is going to make a bigger impact on your marketplace. So, and like I said from the beginning, it doesn't matter if you're spending 18 hours a day, if you make zero impact, if you're out of touch with your market, by the end of the day, you're not going to be making the sales that you want. And if you're not making the sales that you want, you're going to be out of business sooner than you would like. So the final step is going to be to show up daily. Okay? This is consistency. We've now talked about we've now talked about the distractions We've talked about the specific time amount for each activity. We've talked about how to break your day down. We've talked how to be disciplined. We've talked about asking for feedback and doing the market research, getting that done for you. And now we wanna talk about the commitment, right? We wanna talk about the consistency to be able to show up daily. If you're not showing up every day inside of your business, what a lot of people don't realize is that those efforts that you've been building on, let's say that you show up every day and you're just, you're, you're posting, you're creating content, you're doing videos, you're building leads, you're emailing your list, and you're doing this every single day for like 30 days or 60 days or however long it might be right and then you go and you take you know two weeks off because you're just tired and you're like you know I've gotten this much momentum going I think I deserve you know three days off or four days off or a week off the moment that you take that week off you've just now taken that whole you know previous work whether it be 30 days six days you know whatever it is and you've just basically thrown it down the toilet there is no more momentum. You've lost everything, and now you got to actually start from scratch again. And that is what stalls a lot of people from getting to that next level is because they take these long extended vacations from their business because of the fact that they've been putting in such hard work for a short period of time that they feel like they deserve specific results. And you know what? Since I didn't get this result, I feel tired or I need to recoup or I need to recharge. Recharging is great. Recharging is great. You've got to take time to yourself, but I'm talking about you know 15 minutes for every hour. I'm talking about maybe a half a day per week. I'm talking about maybe one day you know, per month, right? Until you reach your goal. If you look at the people who are really making a splash in the industry, in whatever industry that you're in right now, you're gonna see that they don't take days off. There are no days off. Why? Because they love what they do. Why would you wanna take a day off from what you love to do? That doesn't make any sense. If, if, if I loved to you know, um, sell t-shirts, Right? If I love to sell t-shirts and it was like, you know, I was working at a clothing store and I honestly love selling t-shirts, would you ever call in? Would you ever call in your job? You wouldn't. You'd be like, man, I look forward to showing up every day. I look forward to staying late. I really don't even want to go home because I have such a good time selling t-shirts. But yet when it comes to business, 
People feel like, oh, well, I, gotta, I don't want to show up today. Well, I don't want to show up. I got to take a day off. What are you taking a day off from? If you really love what you do, then you would want to be there every day. And that's the only way that you can end up taking your business to that next level is showing up every day until you reach your goal. And then you make a bigger goal and you show up every day until you reach that goal. So believe me, there is time that you need to take to unplug and spend time with your family and things like that. But like I said, during your day of work, when you are building your business, you've got to be able to, to have that, that, that schedule, that routine in place. So that by the end of the day, come five, six, seven, eight o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, whatever it is when you call it a quits, is being able to know, okay, well I've done this, 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 and this, and that's gonna take me to that next level. Now tomorrow I can build on that, okay? And that's why we wanna reverse engineer from our end goal to what we need to do today. Okay, so make sure that you're not getting lost in how many hours you spend on your business and make sure you focus more on the impact. Okay. Now, if you need any help with, you know, breaking down your day or, you know, sharing some strategies that can help compress time, maybe it's some automation resources. Maybe it's uh, understanding more about how to create sales funnels or create compelling ad campaigns to help you generate sales without you actually being that active, you know, um, business owner, right? For you to take a little bit of time off and have some things, some pipelines working for you in the background, which is what we want you to do, right? But there is some active stuff involved, but the passive marketing can take place to help free up a bunch of your time. And if you would like some help with that, then just make sure to visit brandonnorthwick.com and schedule your free one-on-one -on -one with me where I'll be able to sit down with you for 75 minutes and we'll break down what you're currently doing, we'll break down your entire day, and I'll give you some really cool tricks to how you can compress time and get larger results in less time. So I hope you had a blast today, episode 21 coming to an end. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Remember to be great, because nothing else pays. I'll see you.